Everyone's just going to try and make money off it, not necessarily want it to be an art form. I think the youth course is revolutionising right now. I've travelled my whole life, seeing a lot of what the world has to offer. Nowhere has quite captured me like Seoul. I'm surrounded by a lot of creative people here, from rappers to tattoo artists and DJ to fashion designers. Tattoos used to be a total taboo in Korea, associated with gangsterism and crime. People were shunned for having any, pushing the art form deep underground. Due to the youth demanding to be seen for who they really are, tattoo parlours are increasingly coming out of the open. So I'm Daniel Snooks from Australia. Um, I'm a tattoo artist, 23 years old. Um, I've been living here in South Korea for four years now, and um, this is my studio. Welcome. There is a lot of um, talk about um, the tattoo laws being changed in Korea, and um, it has actually been presented to the government. If tattooing becomes legal, then it's so easy for people just to get a license and open a tattoo shop without having the actual requirements that a tattooist should have. Everyone's just going to try and make money off it, not necessarily want it to be an art form. There's tattooers and there's tattoo artists, in my perspective, because a tattoo artist is, you know, we're an artist, we don't draw other people's drawings, we draw our own drawings. I'm not a Korean, but looking at it in an outside perspective, it's like I can probably give Korea some input as an artist. It's probably best I sort of stay here for the moment and just be at the beginning of it so that as the Korean tattoo culture grows then I'm, I'm someone that's you know watched it from the start. There seems to be a bigger stride for success here and desire to be the next big thing. Korea work ethic is insane. Part of this difference is influenced by the youth having been so oppressed in the past. There's now an opening of people's minds, a greater freedom which the youth are really channeling. I think the youth culture is revolutionising right now and I think that's why you'll see like all these new hubs in the city opening up like in Itaewon, all these clubs, galleries, cafes, all their different vibes because people just want to like make something where they'll be happy, you know, because they're not, they won't find that in the mainstream society or in mainstream expectations. But when I first came to Korea, I never saw as many people with tattoos or piercings or pink hair or like, you know, punk rock clothes. I didn't really see a lot of that. Now that's much more common. In this very moment, there's like this subculture developing youth culture that's getting really strong. Like when you go to Fashion Week, a lot of the shows, the theme is youth culture, youths. the way you do it, to get the gas out, yeah, so it doesn't explode. There you go. What is that? What is that? What is that? All of these changes are progressive and being here to witness it all makes Seoul a very interesting place to visit right now.